This influencer went viral, created an online business to only a year later be left with nothing. They are trying to financially sabotage me out of millions of dollars. These people sent me a negative balance. So this is the first time I'm talking about this person on the channel. She's an influencer on TikTok who displayed herself munching down a couple of chicken wings and using some nice pink sauce on it. Everyone was like, wait a second. What's that pink sauce? And this pink sauce was vibrant. It looked like it came out of a unicorn's ass. But, ladies and gentlemen, everything that goes up must come down. And she crashed and burned pretty hard. <laughs> like, she went from living the G6 lifestyle. You know, like, like a G6. G6. Like a G6. Yeah, she went from living that lifestyle to completely, absolutely nothing. And having a huge meltdown on Instagram Live. <laughs> I love meltdowns. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to talk about everything that happened from before till now. And it's pretty drastic, pretty entertaining. And I can't wait to show you guys what happens towards the end. If this is the first time you see me on your screen, then do hit that subscribe button. Or my French friend here, La Broom, will come and slice your nan up. <laughs> so obviously, pink sauce. It's vibrant. There's never been anything like pink sauce before. So people had to buy it. It was a demand. It became a huge trend. And the problem is, she could have done something really great here. She could have really capitalized on this. But she, like, messed up really bad. Like, really bad. Like, she didn't research how to keep the product from going bad, and she was sending them out to a bunch of people who ordered it. And when it arrived in people's homes, it genuinely looked like it'd been sat out in the sun for decades. And this shit went mildew. And you should have seen the packaging for it as well. It was absolutely god-awful. You could have sworn she made it in a goblin's mud hut. I mean, in the ingredients here, it's got milk and eggs in it. Have you ever seen gone-off milk and rotten eggs before? Because that's what arrived in people's homes. Oh yeah, baby. I mean, you should at least try to figure out a way to contain it. There's milk and eggs in there. Look at the state on that. You couldn't even be in the same room as that. It would kill you instantly. If you're looking for a death wish, open the packaging and take a big, nice, deep inhale. Okay, you're guaranteed to have a stroke and pass out and die. Anyway, fast forward a little bit. She kind of sorted out the problem. She got in contact with some distributors. They helped her build the brand to what it needs to be. And it's all looking good. They even put it on the shelves and everything in Walmart. So it looks like she achieved somewhat of her pink sauce world domination dream. But get this right. Recently, she actually came out and complained, saying that the company didn't pay her anything. That she's struggling to feed her children. Her children don't have any clothes for school. And also... They can't buy bottled water. <laughs> I mean, the worst one there is not being able to afford bottled water, right? I mean, you do know that there's free water just in that little silver thing. Just turn the knob and the liquid sort of comes out of it. No one knows how. It comes from some sort of weird magical place. God knows where it comes from. But the company hasn't paid her any money. They owe her hundreds of thousands of dollars, apparently. So she started up a GoFundMe for people to help out. And it was, do this pink sauce some justice. Help get justice for the pink sauce. Yeah, because uh, what has the pink sauce done for me? Nothing. So why am I going to help you exactly? I mean, justice for the pink sauce. Uh, I mean, it looks nice. looks vibrant. But I guarantee you it tastes like shit. My ass probably tastes better than that. Not, uh, not that, like, you know, I've tasted my ass. So obviously people started donating to her. Everyone felt sorry for the pink sauce lady. Uh, started giving her loads of their money. But here's the strange thing. If you check back on her TikTok account a month before they started the GoFundMe, I mean, it's pretty sus. So let's, let's just check that out. Um, things have been really tough recently, and, uh... You know, I can't feed my children and I need some money. Can you please send it to me? Great. Thank you. I sold 200,000 bottles. Suck my big pig dick, baby. <laughs> Unseen. You're welcome, everybody. That was theater. Why are you flexing on TikTok that you sold 200,000 bottles and you claim you haven't been paid anything? If you hadn't been paid, surely that you would complain about it and, you know, not flex how much bottles you've sold because how is it a flex if you haven't actually been paid anything? So I think there's a little bit of capping going on here, you know? Give me your money, people. I'm a successful business. <laughs> like, who does that, you know? Only a scammer would do that. And the pink hair, the pink sauce, I mean, it's all kind of a theme, isn't it? Well, comment down below. What does the colour pink make you think of? Baboons. Because their asses are pink. Yeah, that was completely off topic. I just wanted to make conversation. But she really dragged this narrative that she hadn't been paid anything. She was begging for help. And people showed up for her. Except when the company that she used to distribute with responded to her claims of slander. And this is what they had to say. The pink sauce creator says she's broke after being financially sabotaged by business partner 
Dave Gormut. The company says it's paid the viral chef $120,000. So this article basically spoke to the distributor and they confirmed to the article that she has been paid a hundred twenty grand. So, um, yeah, I guarantee you her kids are just like kind of like racked out in Louis Vuitton. I bet she's talking shit. So if this is true and the company did actually pay her, why is she doing all this? Why is she saying she's broke? Well, ladies and gentlemen, me and La Broom done some investigating and we're about to sweep this shit clean, baby. Oh yeah, it's time to get taken down, pink sauce lady. The king has returned. So to make it sound as simple as possible, ladies and gentlemen, she started her TikTok account, introduced something known as the pink sauce, started going viral, people became intrigued, they were like, I want to buy this shit, okay, I really want to have a taste of it. They bought it, it turned out to be shit, and then she was no longer viral anymore. Because, you know, what goes up must come down. And she came crashing down. No one was interested in the pink sauce anymore. And that's why the business has gone downhill and she's not selling anymore. So she's like, well, how can I bring the company back? I know. I'll start some controversy. I'll say the company didn't pay me and that they owe me loads of money. And I'll use my kids as a pawn in this big game of wealth. And I'll say that I can't feed them. I can't do nothing. It's the company's fault. What am I supposed to do? Buy my pink sauce, everybody. And that there, my friends, is how she plans to bring her name back to life. But, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, didn't go really as planned because, uh, the distributor actually released some bank statements showing that she was paid. So... Awkward. The first payments began in August 2022. According to the documents provided by Dave's, the latest transaction occurred on August the 17th of this year. Dave added in his statement that it is adhered of the terms of the agreement with Miss Shaw. is attempting to work with her to mediate the dispute. Right, it's getting hot in here now. Sorry, King Curtis has got to go away. I can't sit in that bloody dressing gown. It's like a thousand degrees in here. So, allegedly, the company did pay you, pink sauce lady. So, you're just trying to become viral again. Why create some controversy? What's next, huh? Pink ass juice? Ugh, that is fucking disgusting. Now, moving on to the newest update. She actually responded to the company's claims where she had a complete meltdown and smashed her beloved pink sauce all over the floor. So one thing they can't do is steal my legacy away from me. One thing they can't do is be me. No more babe sauce. Pink sauce, real quality pink sauce. They failed me, I can't fail myself. And I'm still gonna win. They can't steal from me. This is my legacy. I mean, she talks about people stealing her legacy, but your legacy is the pink sauce. And you just absolutely obliterated it all over the concrete floor. <laughs> no one is going to steal my legacy. This is Beyonce level shit you can't even begin to understand. I will prevail. But she doesn't like her pink sauce, apparently. It's not, uh, it's not pink enough. You know, it's not, it's not pink enough. They're like, what? Like, this is tacky. This is really tacky. I'm over it. <laughs> but just keep in mind, the pink sauce that you despise so much is the sauce that was on the shelves. The sauce that made you hundreds of thousands of dollars. But your sauce was actually way better than that, wasn't it? It was when you packaged it and it turned into some sort of infectious disease and gave people anus aids. I mean, your one was, was way better. I, I agree. I'm crazy. How am I gonna get the funding for an attorney? They're trying to financially sabotage me out of millions of dollars. These people sent me a negative balance. Right now, I can't even buy fucking water for my children right now. And y'all talk about a motherfucking scam. The fuck are y'all talking about? You think I wanted to come on here and tell y'all a bad story? Of course I didn't want to come on here and tell y'all a bad story. Y'all helped to build the legacy 200,000 bottles. They weren't sold just because of me. They were sold because of the people that love me. People bought my pink sauce because they love me. I don't think so, okay? I think people bought it as an impulse buy, okay? Pink sauce has never existed before now. Obviously, people don't want to try it. They're curious, you know? Their, their intent was to try it and enjoy it and perhaps buy some more. Fuck, my camera died. Great. <laughs> but as I was saying, they bought it. It arrived. It tasted like shit. It was completely unhealthy. And people completely destroyed you on social media for it. And of course then, the trend died. People stopped buying it. And it ended up in the clearance section. And also, by the way, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can get um, water from the tap. It's, it's free. I know it's got fluoride in it. And, you know, it probably will completely destroy your pineal gland, which is the third eye, but, um, you know, 
desperate times calls for desperate measures, you know what I'm saying? And after that, she goes on Instagram and starts spitting conspiracy shit. Like she's a multi-billion dollar individual who the Illuminati is trying to silence. That's the vibe I'm getting. Y'all, they keep deleting my posts. They keep deleting my posts. They keep deleting my posts, y'all. Share this live. Share this live. They keep trying to silence me. They keep deleting the post because they know if they see it, they know if the people see it, what will happen. They lie to everybody. I don't even know how my posts keep getting deleted, but it just keep getting deleted. And these people, they are afraid because they know they stealing. They know what they doing is wrong. So my YouTube channel is dying. Please subscribe to fight the Illuminati. They're trying to silence me because they're afraid of my wealth. Yeah, no one's buying into the conspiracy shit. They're trying to be silenced. Like, no one really cares about the pink sauce anymore, so. She's trying to enter a new conversation. She's trying to create a narrative here, and it's just not working, is it? I don't know what happens to all the money. I just know that the money is being made. The money is being made. The money is coming through. Like, look at the marketing. Like, look at, look at the things that are going on. Like, come on. Like, if I was running this, like everything would be so pristine so amazing this is supposed to be the beyonce of the sauces this is probably the most hilarious thing i've heard so far when you had full control of the pink sauce the product was absolute ass you would never be able to shelf it by yourself you fucking suck and the product sucked okay thank the people who helped you shelf it okay not go online and start spitting allegedly rumors about them not paying for you because i don't know if it's true or not we don't actually know the people who called themselves helping me turned out to be freaking cons the people who turned who said that they were helping me change the world and all of that were freaking liars that's what happened and my children are suffering because of this shit. and as i said already the sauce was only being bought because you were trending Okay? Like, what did you think was gonna happen? You were gonna be the next Elon Musk of table condiments, like, do you know what I mean? Guys, these people are cons, alright? They're trying to steal my fire, trying to steal my legacy. They paid me $10,000 last month. So the people who are cons paid you $120,000, helped you shelf your product, and you jump on the internet and call them cons. Good job. Only a sensible and the highest of individual would use their children as pawns. But yeah, guys, you know, she's having a meltdown, so I'll keep you updated on the situation. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, join the channel memberships. Please, guys, get me to 100k. The Illuminati is trying to destroy me. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.